Hi guys, some of you who follow me on Instagram or YouTube Shorts may know that two weeks ago I had the pleasure of going to Roland Garros for two days of brilliant tennis. I wanted to make a video to capture what I saw and showcase how awesome Roland Garros is. Also, at the end of the video, I want to tell you why I might just prefer it to Wimbledon. Myself and my friend James were very lucky to get tickets for Court Philippe Chatier for day two and day three, as well as a night session match on day two. This was my first time at Roland Garros. We headed straight to court 14 to see Stan Vavrinka and Ramos Vinolas practicing before their match. I found it interesting how the players warmed up alongside each other with their hitting partners. After seeing the first set of Madison Keys versus Kanepi, we headed for our first match on Philip Chatteret, which was Sloane Stevens versus Karolina Pliskova. I was taken aback by the exchanges the two players had on the clay and their ability in finding angles to move each other around. This set us up nicely for Novak Djokovic, who is up next. We watched Djokovic dominate his first round and decided to grab some lunch, explore the grounds and head back to court 14 as Vavrinka was heading into a fifth set. We couldn't believe how easy it was to get into this court and this turned out to be a great decision as the atmosphere was electric and this match was the highlight of the day. We headed to court 12, where we managed to get court level seats to see Borna Koric versus Federico Correa. At this view, you really appreciate how hard the professionals hit the ball and just how much they make the ball kick up on the clay with their topspin. Time for our night session match of Yannick Sinner versus French player Alexandre Miller. We were ever so lucky with our seats being at the back of the court just behind the action alongside the camera. I was really impressed by Yannick Sinner's level and was surprised he didn't get further in the competition. Day two arrived and just like day one, we headed to court 14 to see Alex Malkin and Hugo Gaston warm up, followed by a set of Fiona Ferro and Rebecca Peterson. Our first match on Philip Chatrier was Bronzetti versus Ons Jabeur. Ons was incredible. She was solid from the baseline and hit some of the best drop shots I've ever seen. She attempted what felt like 15 to 20 drop shots from all areas of the court. I even managed to record her doing one of her famous second serve drop shot returns. Next up was Daniel Medvedev versus Thiago Saboff Wild, which turned out to be the match of the two days, with Thiago winning in five sets. Daniil, who up to this year famously hasn't liked the clay, really struggled with a serve, making 15 double faults. In the fifth set, it felt like Daniil tensed up slightly and played more passive, which played into Thiago's hands, who had a very aggressive game style.
Our final match on Philip Chatrier was Iga Swiatek versus Christina Buska. Iga was very clinical and dominated the early part of every point. She took the ball very early and controlled her opponent with precise ground strokes. We felt very lucky to have seen her produce a famous Iga bagel in the second set. The way she prepared between points and her body language during the match gave me Djokovic vibes, which just shows how professional she approaches the game. So after a couple of days at Roland Garros, this leads me to why I think I like it more than Wimbledon. Roland Garros was so chill. Whilst it was busy, it didn't feel that busy. The way the grounds were laid out, it created space for people to waltz around without feeling squished in. In addition, the walkways between courts allowed for viewing, making it easier to see more of the action outside, where at Wimbledon it can be difficult to see the courts unless you're very tall and able to peer over the heads and walls. You were also able to get onto any outdoor court with minimal queuing, where Wimbledon could take 30 minutes to get onto the likes of court 18 and court 3 with a one in one out system. Of course this takes nothing away from Wimbledon, which is a spectacular event in its own right. But if you're looking for a relaxed couple of days where you can see all of the action, I fully recommend Paris.